waiter had a good smell of it. Mm. If you loved me, you would not talk loudly about it. Of course, my love. I will not embarrass you, darling. Mm-hmm. So, you're Anna. I haven't seen you before. Don't you work for David making perfume or something? Hmm, terribly exciting. Sabina, Anna is the woman I love. <gasps> you! <laughs> Why my perfume uh, had such an effect on men who would not normally take any notice of me? Nothing had been put in a way that was any different. Nothing that is except Aunt Mimi's fruitcake. What? A fruitcake? Mm, maybe... If I sell that kind of perfume, I could make a lot of money. Wait a minute. I think I'll skip work tomorrow. Anna goes to Aunt Mimi's house. Mm. Aunt Mimi, mm, the fruitcake. Can I have his recipe? I like to bake it. Anna, I've known you since you were born and you never baked a cake in your life. Now you want to know how to bake a fruit cake? Mm, what's going on? Mm, nothing, Aunt Mimi. I just thought the cake was delicious and wondered if I could bake one too. Thank you. Uh, there's no harm in that, is there? So, this man of yours, he wants you to bake him a cake. Who does he think you are? His mother? Just what were you two doing last night? Having a cookery class? Oh, please, Aunt Bimi. I really want to know. I promise that as soon as you tell me, I'll tell you everything about last night. Huh? Everything? Everything, no secret. Hmm, well dear, I hate to tell you this, but I didn't make the cake. <laughs> I bought it. You bought it? Where did you buy it? Um, from a little place in the market. The open air one that takes place twice a week in the, in the park. There's an old lady there who said used to bake them for her husbands. She had seven of them, would you believe? And they all ate her fruit cakes. Hmm. No wonder she has had seven husbands. Did she say what she put in them? Only that she put in a special something that she grew herself. She wouldn't say what. She told me that she only baked that kind of cake a few times. As a matter of fact, she knew that I was thinking about finding a husband for you. I don't know how she knew but she did. Anyway, this woman who made the cake told me to give it to you and your problems would be over. I didn't believe what she said but I used to buy the fruit cakes because they were delicious. Oh God, the way she's saying it is like the old lady's dead. Can we see this old lady to ask her for the recipe? I'm afraid she died last week. I went to her funeral. They say she was over a hundred years old. There were a lot of strangers there, not from around here, all speaking in some kind of strange way. They seemed to think she was important, though nobody ever took much notice of her around here. Except you, Aunt Mimi. 
<laughs> well, you know how I can't mind my own business. Speaking of which, it's your turn. My turn? Mm-hmm, to tell me everything that happened last night. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, I've told her everything. I don't know whether she believes me or not. Well, if she didn't, she doesn't show it. Aunt Mimi is not a bad old lady. Well, not when you know her well. Anna had two days off work, as if she had been sick. She could not feel good until she knew the truth about the food cake. Mm. <sighs> I know that I will discover about it one day. I have to dig out the information that I want. Unfortunately, I have only a small amount of the fruit cake. But should I find out about it or just leave it all together with the old lady's death? Mm, no, 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 no. Perhaps not. Okay. Anna knocks on Mr. Amos' door. I hope you are well now, Anna. Yes, thank you, Mr. Amos. I hope you're well yourself. My eye hurts a bit. Your waiter could hit harder. Anyway, I managed to calm them down so there was no more trouble and the police were not called. Your waiter had been partly to blame too. So, they accepted my apologies at a price, of course. At least the name of Amos Cosmetics didn't appear in the newspapers. And as for the other matter of my strange behavior towards you, I can't explain what affected me. I mean, a man like myself and a woman. He means that a rich and handsome man like him could not possibly fall in love with nobody like you when he has a beautiful girl like me. Isn't that right, honey? You express it so well, darling. <laughs> so, David wants you to accept a bit of money to make up for any disappointments you may have had. Then, you can go back to making perfumes again. Right, David? Absolutely, darling. Well, Anna, that has helped to uh, clear things up a little. I'm sorry that there had to be this confusion. I hope it's settled then. Well, Mr. David Amos, perhaps you can use your famous expert nose to sort this out too. Take that and him, you oh, horrible woman! After that incident, Anna quits Emma's cosmetics and got herself a place at the factory where they made intrigue. Anna and her mom are baking a cake. Making fruit cake with my mom. You never know what might happen. Then, both heard knocking at the door and Anna's mom goes to the door. Mama, if it's Aunt Mimi, please tell her I'm not interested. It's not Aunt Mimi, dear. Who is it? 